I'm Nancy Perlman here in Baku in the Euro-Asian country of Azerbaijan on the Caspian Sea. Baku is the capital and largest city of Azerbaijan as well as being the largest city on the Caspian Sea and of the whole Caucasus region. Baku is located 92 feet below sea level, which makes it the lowest lying national capital in the world and also the largest city in the world located below sea level. It has been said that Baku is a city that is full of music, warmth, and peace. It's a city which is always happy to meet new guests and embrace them. Baku is a city of contrasts, showcasing modern structural marvels like the world-famous Flame Towers, alongside more traditional European architecture, and even medieval walls which once surrounded the city. Baku's old city is a treasure trove of Azerbaijani history. Its stone buildings and its maze of streets hold secrets that have still to be discovered. The Maiden Tower in the old part of Baku was built in the 9th century. Some say it was a fort, some say an observatory, and others say it was a Zoroastrian temple. masterpiece of old city architecture, rich in history, but with questions still unanswered, is the medieval residence of the rulers of Shirvan, the Shirvan Shah's palace. The Shirvan Shah's palace complex, built in the 15th century, could have been a home to a Shah, it might have been a monastery. Lots of different uses. Now, there are over nine monuments inside, including mausoleums and tombs, a mosque, and museum artifacts. This exhibit shows us some of the traditional instruments the music here is beautiful. If you want to get a taste of it, you can hear the shogur, the santur, or the kaval. Some of the artifacts here are really interesting. Most tourists might think this is a helmet, but in reality, it's a cover for a pilaf rice dish to keep the insects and dust off. Isn't that a clever way to do it? This 19th century salver was used to present sweets, desserts, and fruits to guests.
The ruins of the Shah's bathhouse were unearthed here during an excavation in 1939. This bathhouse, which dates to the 17th century, had its own sewer and water supply system. It was used four times a week by men and three times a week by women. The bathhouse was semi-underground for keeping the heat in winter and the cool in summer. These stones, which are on permanent display in the courtyard of the Shirvan Shah's palace, are relics from the Sabayil Fortress. Built in the 13th century, it once guarded the city's northern flank. During an earthquake in the year 1306, the fortress collapsed and the island upon which it was situated submerged into the Caspian Sea and remained underwater for centuries. The stones are decorated with frieze inscriptions in Arabic and Farsi, chain-shaped ornamentation, images of people, animals, birds, and mythical animals, which is very unusual in Islamic architecture. The Shirvan Shah's palace complex was declared a museum reserve in 1964. Valet is showing me these beautiful traditional costumes. You're going to pick one for me? Yes. Take a picture yes. of me in it? Yes. This yes. sounds really fun and exciting. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. purple, my okay. favorite okay. color. Yes. yes. Nice. So you have to show me how to help me yes. get dressed here. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. This is the skirt. I don't think I have the right shoes on, but we'll manage. Oh, this way. Yes. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? It's nice to have a costume helper here. This is the national dress. I wish he would just sell it to me and I wear it every day and look gorgeous. Not complete without the hat. All right. There we are. Oh, I'm ready to dance. Oh, we got some music going. I can dance. <laughs> okay, and you want me over here? And now the finished piece. That is a beautiful picture. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. This lovely restaurant in the heart of Baku specializes in Azerbaijani dishes. Azerbaijani cuisine is famous for an abundance of vegetables and greens, fresh herbs, and, because it's situated next to the Caspian Sea, some of the world's finest caviar. Kebabs of lamb, beef, or chicken are also widely popular main dishes. Dried fruits and nuts are used in the preparation of many Azerbaijani dishes. According to tradition, no dinner is complete without a sumptuous dessert course, accompanied by a flavored tea, a favorite beverage of the Azeri people, and a symbol of cordial hospitality. In addition to being the largest city in Azerbaijan, Baku is not only the center of government, it is also the technological, financial, and cultural capital of the country. The name Baku is widely believed to be derived from an ancient dialect, meaning wind-pounded city. Indeed, the city is renowned for its harsh winds. Modern Baku is a fantastical fusion of cultures, 
reflected in nearly every neighborhood. Perhaps the soul of Baku is best expressed through the traditional folk dances that have been handed down through the generations. Modern Azerbaijan is associated throughout the world to the memory of its beloved national leader, Haydar Aliyev. And the cultural center which bears his name has become a symbol of modern Azerbaijan and modern Baku. The Haydar Aliyev Museum consists of a concert hall, exhibition area, exhibits featuring the treasures of the country as well as that of the third president of Azerbaijan. The Haydar Aliyev Center has been called one of the world's most beautiful buildings. Baku is a center of fine art, reflected in outdoor public spaces as well as in its world-class museums and galleries. When the weather is warm, Baku offers all manner of sports and recreation to suit any outdoor enthusiast.
buried on this hill above Baku, are heroes and martyrs of the independent struggle. A very important site in Azerbaijan's national heritage, the Martyrs Lane Complex serves as a memorial to those who were killed when the Soviet Red Army intervened in Azerbaijan in January of 1990. That intervention soon backfired for the Soviet Union and it ended any hope of reconciliation. Azerbaijan declared its independence in October 1991, two months ahead of the official dissolution of the USSR in December of that year. Also buried here are the fallen soldiers of the Karabakh War between Armenia and Azerbaijan, which took place in the early 1990s and resulted in the occupation of around 20% of Azerbaijan's territory and the expulsion of roughly one million Azerbaijanis from their homes and lands. Baku is a city of harmony and tolerance. Today, around 93% of the country's inhabitants are of Islamic background, and most of the Muslims in Azerbaijan are Shiites. A continuing example of the unique power of the country's cultural heritage of peace and tolerance is in the way they view other Muslims. Most Azerbaijanis do not see a major difference between Sunni and Shiite Islam, and followers of both groups intermarry and at some mosques pray and worship together. Approximately 5% of the population is Christian, and they pray openly, often celebrating events collaboratively with their Muslim brothers and sisters. There is an Armenian apostolic church, a German Lutheran church, and a Russian Orthodox church in Baku. The new Catholic church, the cornerstone of which was laid during Pope John Paul II's visit to Baku in May of 2002, was inaugurated in 2008 on land gifted by the government of Azerbaijan. An estimated 30,000 Jews live in Azerbaijan, a new synagogue for mountain Jews of Azerbaijan, entirely financed and built by the government of Azerbaijan in less than six months, was opened in April 2011 in Baku. This is the first synagogue built by a government of a predominantly Muslim country. Altogether, there are six synagogues in Azerbaijan. The three major religions have prospered because of the age-old respect and tolerance of the Azerbaijani people, who pride themselves on peaceful coexistence. The government of Azerbaijan has created an environment that nurtures and promotes tolerance. The government has repeatedly, over the course of the last decade, brought together religious leaders from the region and from around the world to promote interfaith dialogue. Azerbaijan sees diversity as one of the country's great strengths and virtues and has worked to ensure that this diversity continues to blossom. The government has built and rebuilt synagogues, mosques and churches, created new religious cultural centers for different faiths, and financially supported all three religions without discrimination. Christians and Jews are represented in all three branches of government in Azerbaijan. Religious harmony also finds its reflection in the country's foreign policy. It's no coincidence that Azerbaijan enjoys excellent relations both with Israel and the Muslim world and is increasingly regarded as a bridge builder between communities and cultures. Love 
lovers of the arts, ballet, opera, theater, concerts, Baku is a feast for the senses. Notably, it was in Azerbaijan where the first opera, the first operetta, and the first ballet in the Muslim world were composed and staged. Not surprisingly, opera and ballet play an important role in the nation's cultural life. Baku After Dark is an exciting and vibrant city, renowned for its nightlife. When the sun goes down, the city of Baku becomes a blaze in a symphony of dazzling lights. provides the ecotourists an opportunity to enjoy cultural and natural wonders. I look forward to exploring more of this Euro-Asian country here on the Caspian Sea. On behalf of Educational Communications and Econews, I'm Nancy Perlman wishing you a natural, unspoiled environment. <laughs>